Hey everybody, Brian Boyle here and welcome to episode 125 of the Mesh Tongue. It is Friday and hopefully all are well and uh, the end of the week. Anybody got any big plans for this weekend? At uh, races, doing something, family, whatever. It is uh, supposed to be gorgeous here in uh, in Utah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you're having a uh, a good day so far, and you will have a fantastic weekend. We're not going anywhere. We'll be back again tomorrow. But uh, but leave those comments below. Hey, also hit me up at Brian B R I A N at Company Five K dot com. That's the number five K dot com, and uh, be happy to get back to you. Now. The reason for this, and sometimes I feel like some things are so basic that uh, we don't necessarily need to cover. However, sometimes I have to remember that not everything that's so basic is basic to somebody that's starting off. So today I want to talk to you about uh, just a real quick way to lace your shoes. Um, I had a patient that came in yesterday and toes were just gnarly. Just absolutely gnarly. I was like, whoa, you're taking a beating on these toes. And you know, start questioning about you know room in the toe box. Start questioning about running downhill, changing shoes, wearing spikes, something, something that you'd say, all right, well, there's some uneven pressure, or there, you know, reason he said, no, just I, just you know, ran 18 miles and uh, you know got done in, in big toenails, you know, all black, and so he used the the uh, safety pin and, and the uh, the lighter to, to push through that and relieve the pressure and he had another toenail that was kind of funky and another toenail and I said you know are you are you lacing your shoes what kind of socks are you wearing he says well you know I've got I've got uh, a good solid pair of running socks uh, so we went through all of that and I said how are you lacing your shoes he's like I just kind of lace them pretty loose and it's like okay well maybe just maybe shuffling towards the end of 18 miles it's just pushing into the toe box of the shoe. So, peeps, if you are having problems with toenails and you're having problems where you feel like your toenails, you're losing to more toenails than you have, I've been there, so I miss, I'm, I'm still missing toenails, it took me a while to figure this stuff out. Um, I'm gonna show you a real quick lace job. Uh, if, you may have or may not have seen this before, so if this is a review, great, but this is the reason why you do this, okay? Uh, there's a couple other methods that you can try. Maybe we can cover those, you know, I, you know. again, it's not an exact science. Everyone will be a little bit different. I particularly like this one. Uh, it's simple, it's easy. What could be better than simple and easy? So, without further ado, we'll get into this. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your shoe, all right, you've got... Other hole, okay, just gonna make a loop. Perfect, take your shoe. So your shoe's already laced up. Other hole, perfect, okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna bring it through on each side, okay. So put this on. Okay, so now you've had that loop that was here. Okay, you took the other side and brought that through. Took the other side and brought that through. Okay, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just pull this in, and then you're gonna pull it down. So you're gonna see that you're gonna have a little bit of a loop there, and you're gonna pull down. So you pull down on both sides, and that locks the shoelace in. This is called a heel lock, or a lace lock. Okay, so as you lock the shoe in, that locks this part of the foot in so that the toes can't push up against the toe box. Pretty simple, okay, and yet I still have people coming in with poor nails and all sorts of stuff. Then just tie your shoe and away you go. So this will prevent the shoe and the foot from colliding, losing toenails, preventing you from having to drill through your toenail to alleviate pressure and also keeping you out of my office, the podiatrist's office, and so on and so on. So, as I say, seems pretty simplistic, but still enough of you out there that aren't doing it. Um, what's your favorite method of lacing up? Leave those comments below. That's it, folks. I like to keep it simple and easy, but I sometimes forget how simple and easy simple and easy is. And so we don't talk about it. So we took to episode 125 to get here, but uh, but that's the way it goes. All right. So 
see you again tomorrow. Please share this with your friends, your family. If you're finding some value in this, check out runpainless.com. And whatever you do, don't go hurting yourself to come back. We'll see you again tomorrow on Saturday. And uh, until then, take care.